Here's what's making news now around Indiana. Purdue Polytechnic High School is expanding beyond Marion County with a third campus in South Bend next fall. The school network currently has two locations, one at Circle Center Mall in downtown Indianapolis, the other uh, in Broad Ripple. Its curriculum is focused on science, techno uh, technology, engineering, and math. The South Bend School intends to enroll 125 students in its freshman class next school year. Mishawaka-based charter bus company Royal Excursion may soon be hiring soon-to-be jobless employees of Coach USA, which last week announced plans to shut down service in northwest Indiana. Royal Excursion is in talks with the operators of the Indiana Airport Super Saver shuttle bus service, which connects northwest Indiana to Chicago airports. The company says it intends to start service early next year. And a Terre Haute Honey Creek Mall has a new name, thanks to Rachel Scott of Quincy, Indiana. She won a renaming contest that garnered more than 1,000 entries. The mall is now Haute City Center. Out of the Box Ventures uh, bought the mall in May and launched the renaming Honey Creek Contest in September. Well, since 1939, Crossroads uh, Industrial Service is a division of Easter Seals Crossroads. It's been providing companies with flexible, customized manufacturing, assembly, and supply chain uh, solutions, increasing production capabilities, lowering costs. Well, recently, Easter, Easter Seals made its third acquisition, Technofit Inc. in Brownsburg. And with more on uh, how it will help the nonprofit serve even more individuals with disabilities or special needs, pleased to be joined by CEO J. Patrick Sandy. And Patrick, welcome to the program. Thank you, Jay. Uh, first of all, I, I think most people know the Easter Seals name, been around for a long time. But give us really the, the, the model uh, and what Easter Seals uh, Crossroads is all about. Sure. We provide services to folks with disabilities um, from the beginning of their life, infancy, all the way through the lifespan. So that can be take the form of therapy services, it can be employment services. We try and graduate our services as the person grows older. Yeah. So you engage at an early age. And in terms of the impact, last year Easter Seals Crossroads served nearly 9,000 individuals with disabilities or special needs, so a lot, of, a lot of impact. Yeah, correct. Yeah. In terms of funding, and I think this is an interesting part of the Easter Seals uh, Crossroads story, uh, is the way you do business. And as a nonprofit, you understand that uh, it's getting tougher and tougher. 25% of your revenues, of your support, comes from philanthropy, right? That is absolutely correct, yeah. And there's a lot of research showing that philanthropy is dropping off in terms of uh, grant opportunities and even the general public making donations to organizations like Easter Seals Crossroads. So as, a non as, as I look at it, you're a nonprofit doing business more like a for-profit entity, looking at ways to generate revenue. Great example, a recent acquisition of tech, uh, Technofit in Brownsburg. Correct. Um, yes, we sort of implemented a plan a few years ago uh, to start trying to solve our own problem in terms of the loss of funding. So we looked first at uh, purchasing companies that we could bring into our industrial service division that would provide a margin to support the other side of the house. Those are the programs and services that um, are supporting folks with disabilities and being as independent as possible. Yeah. And so Technofit is our third acquisition. Yeah. Our, our first one was a, a Lucida, which is a electronic medical record scanning company. Mm -hmm. We brought that uh, company into Easter Seals Crossroads Industrial Services, I think in 2013. Mm -hmm. That went well, and so we brought in another uh, a company. This was one that we purchased out of uh, Chicago, mm -hmm. and the name of that company was Antunis. And now it's called Crossroads Controls, and it makes uh, pressure switches for HVAC applications um, in heaters, boilers, that sort of thing, mostly for commercial use. And really what you're doing is, is unique, I think unique in Indiana. Would that be an accurate statement? It is an accurate uh, statement. It's really built on the uh, model of uh, being a social enterprise. So we're providing opportunities to support our cause, our value, our mission, and we're doing that by generating income ourselves yeah. to, to, to do that. Very, we only have about 30 seconds, but I thought it was interesting, the Technofit acquisition. That company in Brownsburg had multiple potential buyers, but ended up, they wanted, they wanted you to be the buyer. The, yes, and what we did was we had them come to Easter Seals Crossroads and see our industrial service division and see what we were doing in terms of supporting folks with disabilities and the number of people that are actually working there. And they say when they left the building, they made the decision to sell the company to us because not only it was going to allow an opportunity to continue their legacy, but it was going to move to a higher cause where it was to support people with disabilities. Easter Seals Crossroads continues to make huge impact uh, in Indiana. And uh, Jay Patrick Sandy, the CEO of the organization, thanks for being on, doing uh, business uh, in a unique way and making an impact. Thank you. Thank you, Gary. All right.